Hey, everybody. Uh, happy Sunday to all. Happy Sunday, Nilla. Happy Sunday to you, too, babe. Hey. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, welcome to our podcast. This is EBP Man from EBP Man Tech Reviews and Nilda. And we are here for uh, covering a lot of topics. We're going to cover some tech reviews that have taken place on the channel. We're also going to cover some new tech reviews that are coming this week. And we're going to share with you news, uh, some of the news, some of the cool stuff that's coming, uh, some things that may be happening in the world of Apple. For those of you who are Apple uh, users, I am an Apple phone user, and I have a lot of Mac products, even though I lean more towards Android. Or should I say I identify as an Android? You identify as an Android. I identify yeah. as an Android. And uh, first of all, we wanted to share with you, we, we actually took a podcast weekend off last week. Yes, we did. And <laughs> Nella, do you want to share what took place? I, I don't, don't give the years because we'll keep that to ourselves. But go ahead, share a little detail of what took place last week. Because last week was a slow week when it came to reviews. Even though we did a lot of recording, there wasn't a lot of things that we posted because we had some other things we had to do. So go ahead. Well, we celebrated our wedding anniversary. So we, you know, getting, just getting, planning things, getting things ready for the event because we did house, you know, we did have a banquet hall with food and we met about 50 close family and friends. And um, so, yeah. And then we had some friends that flew in from, from uh, out of state to come and spend, you know, um, the anniversary party with us. And that was like an oh my God moment. So it was like all production came to an end because we had yeah. friends over in our house. Well, just friend. Or a friend. But then we had, well, there was phone calls. There yes. were preparations. And then, a la Nilda, there was last minute. Can you make things? Lots of things we did the day of the party. So the day of the, the party. So of... we created lots and lots and lots of yeah. little tchotchkes, giveaways. Just things that we're going to share with you. And, you know, this is a creator home. So we've always said we're a creator home. We're basically, we use our products. We basically just don't talk about the products we review, but we use all the products that we review. So we're going to talk today about also uh, some 3D printing, things that are that have been going on. Also, we're going to share with you uh, the things that we did for our wedding, because let's face it, there's either baptisms, cotillions, weddings, um, baby shower. Baby shower. There's been a lot of baby showers lately. A lot of babies. Lots. Maybe it's because of you know people being locked up so much that there are more babies. No. There's been a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of baby showers. I'm noticing. A lot that. of baby showers. Yeah. What other events have there been that we've been graduations? There's a lot of graduations happened lots, just recently. Lots. Of I mean, kids are already gone back to school, but they have been last minute graduations. You know, events that we've been invited to. So, yeah, birthdays that you can't get yeah. away. And, and I, when we got to say that the stuff that you can make, personal oh. gifts that will transform any experience. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So let, let's get right into it so that we can start covering things. Yes, and yes, I'm going to yes. give you guys an update on the Galaxy Fold and the actual uh, Google Fold so that I can share with you more experiences with that. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, Nilda, why don't you share with us like all the things that we uh -huh. made uh, for your for your uh -huh. it's a great party thanks Vic. i think so, he dislike the food <laughs> yeah so he's a foodie let's talk about the tchotchkes the things that you requested i know we have one of them here there's other stuff that i'll show i can show a short video while you're talking about the things that we made well we made these uh little coins they're wood coins i used my x tool f1 laser engraver Yep. And um, so you can see there it says Melton 31. We don't want to give the years away, but technically uh, we give it away. Yeah, it's been uh, 31 been a years. We look yeah, good for, a for 31 long years. Time? It's like yesterday. It's, it, it is. It is in prison years. Or dog years. In dog years. Yeah. Whatever the years are, it was, it's, it's, been, it's been great. If we're not going <laughs> to buy that, you know, I just want to let you know. <laughs> no, <people laughs> but, uh, no, it's been great. It's been great. No complaints. Um, and then right behind it, we did a QR code. And if you were to scan this, it'll show the song that we danced right away, which is Everything I Do, I Do For You from Brian Adams. Mm. And it takes you directly to the YouTube video. And this is something like we did literally did this last minute. We did 25 of these, I think it was. And mm -hmm. then we had to, you know, of course, we had to flip it around and do both sides. Um, and we did two at a time. Uh, so that was... It was chaotic, but it was so well worth it. So, and and that wasn't the only thing we did because 
we also did uh, talk about and, and show the piece of acrylic that we have left. We'll like cue this up. So we use this acrylic, this pink acrylic. Well, everybody who knows me knows I love the color pink. You can see my nails. Um, we did some little, um, like we would say, uh, table flower decoration that we put on our flowers that I ordered. And on the, on the front of it, which he's going to show you a video, we put this same the same uh, thing uh, on it. And then what I did is that behind behind it, I had printed out some pictures from our wedding, our wedding party. And we just, you know, I, you know, place it on the back of it. So that was a nice uh, the um, gift for the people who actually stood up to my wedding. We showed up at our 31st wedding anniversary. So I had out of eight, I had five show up to the uh, show up to our wedding anniversary. And um, so it was it was beautiful. It was just a beautiful moment. And let's go ahead and play this so that you can see what we did. Because I created a short. I love that. I wish uh, I would have made an extra one. It uh, created created a quick short because it was literally uh, the day of the day of hustling. And you think about day of our like, party. Anniversaries are like weddings, right? So there's like you gotta get there early. You gotta get there early. You gotta prepare everything. And she says, "No, I'd love to do this. Can you design something really quick?" I'm getting my hair done while you're working. And typically, Nilda can do some of the crafty stuff, but she had to work on that. This one tired she, work. She had to work on that, and you know what? I said I'll I'll take care of the the heavy lifting when it comes to the the video stuff. So let me show you guys uh, this what we did, and I'm gonna hit play. Next tool, P2 laser engraver, and a piece of acrylic. How you can make an anniversary decoration? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, a little creative space magic. Woohoo! Hit start, and watch it go. All right, it's done. Let's add a little color. Start wiping it down. And we're done. Those are so, they came out so cute. Yeah, so these, I don't so know if I, 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 I actually put the picture at the very end. I don't know if I did. All it takes is a couple of minutes of creativity, creativity and the P2 from <laughs> X-Tool to create some really cool stuff. I'm telling you, that, yeah. that uh, X-Tool yeah. P2 came to the rescue. Yeah, so the, the P2 laser engraver, guys, we've been reviewing this on the channel. We've talked about how you can create a side hustle with it. It's something that we use. We use it, uh, Millie uses it for her business, uh, her Etsy store, and some of the other things that she does. And we used it for our anniversary. But we've also talked about another product that we have been, uh, that we've been reviewing, right? And we were, we made something else. You want to talk about the, the other thing that we made? Are we talking about the mirrors, the compact mirrors, or yeah, we're gonna the we're, keychains? We're going we're gonna to talk the about the, the actual the compact mirrors that, okay. that we did. You want to talk about that and well, say what that was? I can't remember the name of the brand. I'll, I'll bring in the Oh, link. okay. Uh, but we use it was not, you know, Exol. We, we used, definitely used it to for the two, full. For two things. We used it for the coins. And for the ornaments. And for the ornaments. And then we also did the bottle openers. Don't forget about the bottle openers for the guys. Oh, yeah, we did, we did also yeah. bottle openers for the guys. Yeah. And then um, with this new fiber, laser fiber that uh, a printer that we got, we laser engraved compact mirrors. And it was what, 25, 26 seconds per mirror? For, yeah, you know, yeah, it was, it was like it was under 24 seconds to do. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up that video. And these are two different technologies. Both of them can be used for side hustles. Uh, this is from a company called Monoport. Hey guys. And uh, in Monport, and uh -huh. it's it's very similar to the X tool, but it's a different technology. And I would say it's it's probably more well. I don't want to say it's more robust. It's just a different type of laser type that we're talking about. So one that we've been using is diode laser, and they're Galvo diode, and this is going to be fiber Galvo or fiber based. And uh, let's go ahead and switch over to it, and I'll share with you what it actually what it's actually doing. And the cool thing about this is we created some compacts. And Nola, do you want to, while I bring that up, you want to talk about the, the actual, you know, the gift itself and, and what, what people were saying about it. They loved it because, you know, we, we kept it simple. We didn't put our names on it. We just put a little uh, saying on it, a little quote that says there's always a reason to smile. And um, it just came out so pretty. I... I mean, they disappeared as soon as you know people saw that it was giveaways. They those things disappeared. They're like, oh, yeah, well, of course. It, it, they, they loved it. They, they loved disappeared it. so fast. It was it was silly fast. It was like so. Usually, fast. we get like leftovers oh, from other God. events, was, and this was, time was, was like nothing gone. Nothing left over. All right, let me see if I can bring this in really quick. Uh, and so the 
I'll talk about what the technology is for a second. Let me go, I'll bring up that video. And the cool thing about this, the, the technology itself that we're talking about is that it is super fast, right? You thought the X2 was super fast, the, the, also the F1 is fast, but check this out, guys. Yeah, this is super fast. <laughs> I'm saying super fast, but it is mm -hmm. super fast. Our My life is super fast. It's done in 25, let's say 26 seconds. Check this out. Now, hopefully you guys have seen, you see this on TikTok quite often where people are doing tumblers and they're doing stuff and you see just the light going back and forth. So these are compact mirrors with a leather top. And what the laser is doing is it's just engraving uh, or printing. It's actually more engraving. It's burning the surface of the leather and creating that little saying, always, there's always something to smile. Spectacular. So there's always a reason to smile. Absolutely spectacular. Now that was done with the Montfort 30 watt fiber laser. Check it out. So uh, going back to that, the cool thing about that technology and then just, you know, just using that technology that we were using right there is, first of all, the thing is, how many compact mirrors did we do? Um, do you remember? I think it was 30. Yeah. And, and, and it took us under, Not, about under five minutes, a little bit over five minutes for all under of that. Five minutes to do. That's, that's the cool thing about this tech. And it was, it was very, very easy. Uh, now, obviously, you know, I had the machine already set up, and but it really didn't take us long. And this is again the day of. She says, "Can you do mirrors?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." I said in the I said in the anniversary that that when you're married this long, no is the new yeah. I mean, yes is the new no. So you just say yes to everything. So you love me? I do love you. So that no? No, that's that's the reverse. That's reverse psychology. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> all right, so. That, that, gotcha. was, that was uh, some of the cool stuff that we did and we and we engraved stuff. The other thing that we wanted to talk about is Bamboo Labs. We talked about their products on the channel and there's a review that's going to be posted tonight, maybe tonight after this podcast or tomorrow morning. And we have uh, we were just recently introduced to Bamboo Labs. We've had a lot of printers on the channel and. It won, we've never really had the privilege to have bamboo. We've had a lot of great brands, a lot of fast printers that bring things in. And what we ended up doing just recently is, and I would say recently this year, is we received this product from bamboo and we were, we were pretty excited about it. So we received this, this one right here. And the nice thing about this product is that it is affordable, affordable in the context of, of printers. More importantly, and or equally important is that this thing is fast. This is one it of is. the fastest printers that we've reviewed on the channel. And not only is it fast, but the quality of what this printer produces is spectacular. It is, uh, it's, it's to the level of what some would consider almost like injection molded plastic products. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show one of the products and, and Nilda, do you wanna talk about um, your the Etsy store and the stuff that you're doing with that? Does it show up right now? Yeah, there it is. So this is called a jig, and this is for the wallets that we did, right? Yeah. So that was for another party that we did. Yeah. For kids' graduation, and we gave out wallets to uh, all the guys, well, all the men. So uh, this is really popular. It is very popular, store. and I'll just highlight a couple of things. Notice how clean these prints are. So this looks like it was done in a factory, but this was actually done here. On the bank. And. Yeah. And what it what on the bamboo, and what happens is you put your those metal wallets. You guys know the ridge wallets. You, well, you put a like a ridge wallet, right? Not the ridge wallet, but a, a ridge wallet like wallet, and you place it here, and then you're able to engrave it and personalize it. We did this for our kids' graduations, and we've done this for other events. And the whole point is that this goes into the F1 laser engraver, and it just puts it in place so that ever you have perfect alignment. And the bamboo is creating these. Now we used to have problems with the P1P because we have a very, we like keeping the house very cold. And what happens is plastic and cold air, you know, heat and cold That's air just don't, just don't really work well together. Yeah. Matter of fact, this is one of the ones that we did prior to the update. And if I bring this on camera right here, you'll notice that that tip right there, see how it's a little bit curled, that little curling. Now, a lot of people won't notice that. This drives me nuts. I, I notice it, right? And if you look at this side, notice how nice and straight that is right there. No issues there. But then as soon as you look at that one corner, that's the curling that, that was taking place with the, here it is right there. 
That's the curling that was taking place. It was just lifting slightly right there because of, of how it was dealing with the heat and the cold and the cold air. So, uh, so this was something that was, that was troubling us. It was, it was just causing problems. And one of the easiest solves, you know, one of the easiest things that you can do if you want to fix something like that, is just blanket over it. <laughs> I tried, I tried throwing a blanket over it. That didn't really work. You could enclose it with some other material. You can move it from the room and then, you know, it's like, you can knock yourself on the head and say, just change the temperature of your house, but I can't deal with heat. I need to be in a cold area. So what we did was bamboo cold, cold. provided us, um, for our review and test a kit. And this kit turns that printer that you saw into something like this. So this is the P1S. And this is another printer that they have. And basically what they just did is they, they the, the printer works fine if you don't have the enclosure as you see here. And, I, and I'm talking about the challenges I had, right? So it's because the environment I'm in. So this is a frame and there's a lot of printers like Creality is very well known for creating printers that are that look like this where it has no sides to it, it's open. If you look at also Algu, which we reviewed on the channel, mostly all the brands that we have, uh, let's see, FL Sun. I was just gonna say that one. FL Sun is another one that we have had on the channel. Uh, the only one that we've never had an open Kitty? is Kitty. Kitty. You're good. So the Kitties are always in close. You guys have been working with using that one a lot. Yeah, the Kitties are more like industrial strength, I would say, fantastic, fantastic printers, uh, and but they're enclosed. Now, uh, always enclosed and they're heated too. So here, when you switch it over, all of a sudden you have it looking like this. It's the same exact printer, but what Bamboo sent us is the kit that gives you the panels, the front door and the top. And oh my God, does it make a difference? Especially when you're in a cold home. Yeah. All of our prints, as soon as we switch things out and it has cooling fans. So what you get with this kit is you get the side door, the, the two side panels, you get a new back, you get a front door and you get a, uh, a top. Well, in addition to this, you do get an extra fan if you don't have one already, and that fan helps for parts cooling. You also get an internal fan that's also there for cooling that basically also has a HEPA filter or a carbon, uh, a carbon activated filter because there are some materials, some plastics like ABS or PETG that may release an order, and then that's going to address that as well. And then the other thing that it has is some, some fans that help the CPU stay cool because once it's enclosed, the printer is not going to breathe as much as it did when it was open. So you get all this, these little pieces of equipment, including something that's called a drag chain to basically upgrade your printer. And, and we're just, you know, we just love the overall quality, especially as, um, you know, as Nilda's running her small business and she's, you know, quality is important. And you want to be able to have some nice looking parts as she produces her parts. And as she sends them out, she's able to produce something that is of this caliber. And, and I'll tell you, people notice and we also talked about how easy it was. You want to talk about some of the things that, you know, when you're working with the bamboo, why is it so easy? Well, you got... Um, like, remember the trays and stuff? Yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, about? the trays. That you can... These... Um, I'm not sure which one. This is the one that... Um, you can put two to, two to the side. You can put four in one tray and just print out four at a time. Yeah. And it's super easy. You go down, you, you go to your bamboo, and then you select through the folder which item you want to print and then just select it and you hit print. Yeah. But you also have to select the pool and the color that you want. Yeah. And then. And so, so the bamboo, so the bamboos are great for the beginners, right? Like me. Yeah. So they're very good for beginners, but I'd say um, a lot of the printers are changing. Uh, I think it, it would be, I'd be remiss if I did not mention Creality's K1. Uh, so the K1 and the K1 Max, which are also enclosed printers and they're fast. The, uh, they've yeah. also, I think Nilda's looking at one that's right behind yeah, us. Right She's right like, here. we have one right there. Say, hello, little one. <laughs> uh, and, and I use that one too. I use, I use that one for prototyping. Uh, so I have the, the K1 is our prototyping machine. And then we have the bamboos are our production machines. And this is something that I was uh, creating today. This is another jig. jig for Nilda. So Nilda does the creation. I do the engineering. So I create the jigs that make her life easy. Yes. Right. Yes. So this is a little jig for thank you, Apple. You're welcome, Alan. This is for Apple Watch for Apple Watch engraving, and then this goes into a machine. This will go See, we this like Apple. as a fiber uh, engraver, or in this case, this is for the F1, and then we're able to engrave the bands. And the cool thing about this is that it makes things repetitive. You can actually engrave something like this super fast, right? So you basically put it in, and then when you replace the bands, all you do is you take the bands out, right? 
and then you put another band in, you don't have to worry about it being too high, being too low. It's always in the right place. So Nilda, Nilda says, hey, I want to make these. And I go, all right, let me design it. I already asked for another jig. And she asked me for another jig. And then this is something else that we made. Oh, my coasters. And so if you notice right here, this is this is what's called a pencil jig. And a pen. And it's, or it's pen. called pen. the deluxe pencil and pen jig. Yeah, I named the things I made. Yes. So deluxe. Right. So this is the deluxe. And we call it the deluxe because it also has a alignment bar. So I was we I had made one for Nola. She asked for one and it didn't have the bar. And I noticed she was having a hard time just struggling. I was just, with you know. Put it in and then I was using something to level it, get it all straight. So I said, well, let me put you a little alignment bar, right? So we made her a little alignment bar, and this became the deluxe perfect alignment jig. Yeah. Because it's perfectly aligned every single time. So, and and I do is, nine at a time um, for the pencils, and I do, um, I think it's uh, seven for the pens. So we do pencils and pens, and and how long does it take to make for, to make a pen? Nothing. Or a pencil. How, how long is your nine? I did nine. It took less than... Um, like maybe a little bit over a minute. Yeah. So, so think but, about that, guys. But so I want people to understand that when, because somebody did, as someone, we had a friend of ours, she um, got the, uh, the F1, and she didn't, we, we sent her some of those jigs, and she forgot to move the metal plate. Yeah. Because that literally replaces the metal plate, so. Yeah, so so the F1 has, and, and I'll bring an F1 up. So keep on talking while I bring up an F1 picture so that folks can see this. So what do you want to talk about? Uh, about the, about the, what you were talking about, uh, the jigs and then the... Oh, device. the jigs, the jigs, yeah. Um, so we have pretty much jigs for everything. I do have some new um, items that are going to be coming out on Etsy. And um, they're going to be required. Like I said, they're going to require a new jig. But we, you know, everything I try to, you know, I'm selling, whether it's on the Etsy store or just, you know, through friends, uh, I have a jig for it. Yeah, and what you see here is if you notice here on the laser where the actual the is that cookie or what what is that on there? I don't know what it's that's oh, a coaster. I was about to say just a very thin wood it, coaster. It look like one. So or ornaments. So basically the jigs that that I designed for my wife uh, basically make it easier so that you notice how this little ornament that they have there for Merry Christmas? It's really hard for you to put it in the exact same spot every, every single time. time. Yes. Right. And if you have an eye for design, that will drive you nuts. Right? Mm -hmm. it, 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 drives, it drives me crazy. And it drives Nola crazy, too. So that little metal plate that you have there gets replaced by the ones that we're designing here. Right? So we basically take these guys, we pop that out, we put it in place, and your pencils, your pens, everything that you're making is always alive. So that's what we do with the jigs, and, uh, and we... You know, I, we, we, we I call use, the jig master. Yes. I get jiggy with it all the time. So the, what I was going to say is the, uh, we, we build them for ourselves. We test them ourselves. We also send them out to a couple of our friends who have to test them out. F1s as well. And they test them as well. And we're really happy with the way they work. Yeah. Yeah. I love the stuff that they're making with it. So, um, I'm, I'm happy that it came in handy for them as well. It did. It did. So, uh, Anniversary, we talked about uh, some of the, the things that we made in the anniversary. Also, I just love guys, how people reacted to the, the things that we made that day, even though it was at the last minute. Even though it was, it was but so here's the thing it. is, these are great small business ideas. I keep on talking, we keep on yeah. bringing that back. Great small business ideas. So, uh, just passive to, income, people. It's passive, oh. it's passive income. Now, one of the things uh, that I want to talk about, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this because I have a note and I for detail, and behind me, I'm going to. Pull to the side of it, and you notice that my chair is different. I have. I'm been like, why am I moving with you? I have because we. we <laughs> I have been sporting a brand new chair, and chairs are important to me. Uh, and I hope they were important to everyone. Are they important to you? Chicken chairs. Oh yeah. Good well, chairs are important. Did I just had surgery on my back? Yeah, yeah. When you have, yeah, and if you want good support, being in a chair, even if you, we have a sit stand. You know, all our desks are sit stand, and we try to stand as much as we sit. But when you sit, if you're not sitting in a good chair, you are going to be in pain very soon. So, but unfortunately, good chairs are expensive. When expensive. when I was uh, in corporate America, uh, there was a brand that was kind of like the chair. Oh. And it was called the Herman Miller chair. Herman Miller chairs are like thousand dollars plus, right? How many of you want to spend a thousand dollars on a chair for home? I don't. I, and it's not leather. Unless it's not, you, it's not a recliner. Company pay for it. It doesn't. It doesn't have uh, anything that massages any no. part of your body. No. 
So you're, you're talking about over a thousand dollars for something that's mesh and plastic. That's what you're paying for over a thousand dollars. No, you're paying for the name. You're paying for the name. But I will tell you this with the Herman Miller chairs, they last forever. I actually have one. We still have ours. I have one. And I got it used with one of the big firms downtown went bankrupt. I went over there and I knew that they had like hundreds and hundreds, like over a thousand chairs. Oh my God. And I was able to pick one up really inexpensive, like, you know, mm -hmm. a couple hundred bucks used, but I was happy that I got it because I wanted a Herman Miller chair. Our son uses that one. And my, yeah, my, my, our son actually stole it. So we basically, let me show you this chair. And this is a great, uh, it's a great chair. And, uh, what we have found is that, and I, at first, when I looked at the quote on this, there were people that were saying that this is kind of the, the Herman Miller uh, kind of equivalent chair. And at first I said, eh, let's see. And I had to say, guys, it is. This, this thing is super comfortable. I've been rocking this for now several weeks. The review is, is coming live. I wanted to really, I didn't want to unbox it and just do the review. I got it really quick and we put it together. We've been using it for now for a couple of weeks. And I was going to put the review, but I said, I, I want to, I want to sit in it more. I want to really experience it more. And what I want to highlight is the crazy price, two ninety nine. That is a good deal for that a chair. Is. A good deal for a chair of this quality. So it has uh, like the arms right here. Everything goes up and down. Obviously, it has great support. The back lumbar support is. It kind of shifts with, like when you move which is kind of weird yeah. because your ga the gaming chairs that we normally sit in that we have here are basically have a little pillow that you adjust and yeah. you put it in one place and it just sits there. This one, and I'm going to lean back. As I lean back on this, the lumbar, the, the back lumbar, uh, and I think I'm locked here. I'm going back. What <laughs> it does is it, go, it goes up. It gives me support. And then I, as I come back, it comes back into place. It's weird the way that they have this design. But this back part right here shifts and, uh, shifts and moves. And let me show you the picture right here. So this is, you know, there's some magic going on here, which I really, really like. And and then also the headrest part is also something that's really cool. I'm going to switch back to our view so you guys can see my um, my back. Well, let me do this. Watch this. That's it. And it goes back up. <laughs> yep. You know, if I want to click it down, I just click, 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 however low I want it. If I want it right there, now it's there. Oh, I'll click it too down. But okay. basically, I have it in that setting, this setting, this setting. And now I have it really, and if I turn to the right right here, you can see how it's supporting the side of my back. And then if I do it like this, I'll, one more time down, it pops up all the way to the top. So I I really, really like this chair. And I didn't think I was going to like this this much. You do use it a lot. Yeah, I really, really like this one. Now, we have some other chairs that are going to be coming in uh, that we'll be able to review. We'll talk to you guys about that once those come in. I like the way this one hugs your, your legs. It does, right? It, it has it, 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 it does hug your trish. It's just it's just a great chair. So links as well. If you're interested, check them out. Uh, and let's see what else. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at this next one, Which and one? then we're going to look at the next product that we are checking out. Mm -hmm. And this is a review that is coming out tomorrow. This is a review that's coming out tomorrow because it's the launch of the product tomorrow. Now, this product this is... This has taken over my family room. <laughs> oh, but it's so good. It yes. is so good. It is intoxicating. Yeah. I, I heard that. our son asking you questions about it. Oh, yeah. He, he noticed the difference. He was like, oh, my God. And so we've been looking at the Caceres, right? The Caceres H6 Tri-Laser Home Theater Solution. What's so cool about this thing, and we're going to go over the specs, and you guys have heard us talk about home theater solutions. We love our home theaters. Home theater solutions. We'd rather watch movies here than go to a theater. Absolutely, right? Yeah. And, 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 I, and I'll tell you, it's, it is, so you don't, if you haven't seen it before, it's like you, you, you have to watch our videos as we review projectors. And again, to give you guys some context, we don't unbox and review. We unbox we use and we use for days and we use for weeks, right? Minimum two weeks. And then we basically give our opinion and we live the products. Like if, you know, just like you and I would like anyone who's using a product, when you go buy a product, when you buy a TV at a local big box retailer and you come back home, how many of you question why is it doesn't look the same as we saw it in the store? 
or how many of you wish that your home experience is the same as the in-store experience, right? So we use these products. We watch TV on the, on the projectors. If it's audio products, we use them every single day. Not only that, but I'll have Nilla try them out. I have other families try them out. I've even gone through a series of like, like a dozen earbuds and I've told people, all right, let's, let's go through all these. And I want you to listen to each one so you can tell the difference. So we do a lot of extensive, I would say, uh, informal or formal, however you want to look at it, in-person reviews of products. Now, this product is a great product. And we have, there's a new class of laser TVs coming out. And all of the ones that we have, and I have two other ones that I can't talk about. Uh, I have two more that we have been testing, and they're probably about 95% done the reviews. But this is what we're seeing in this class uh, that's coming out this year. And this year, it's really about, right now is a time for projectors. I've been seeing all the projector companies are starting to contact us. So we have the Caceres H6. Uh, it's a 4K, 3D, triple laser projector. We have the 3D glasses and it's better than the theater. Like the ones that, when you go to the theater, the ones in the theater, the glasses, you just put them on, right? These are battery operated active glasses that give you a 3d viewing experience that is super crazy now you may be asking yourself how do you get 3d content well there is 3d content limited but there is you can get 3d content via blu-ray if you don't want to buy, buy blu-ray you also have some of the streaming services like disney has like if you stream disney plus you can get 3d content there so but there's there's something else so let me just go over this so you can see kind of like some of the uh, animations and things that are going on it's super cool projector and one of the things that I really like is not just about the, tri the triple laser and then the brightness, so you can see what the lumens are, but we're going to see something that's going to come up in a second. The size up to 150 inches, which is great. You have HDR10, which is uh, fantastic color accuracy and quality when it comes to black levels, um, just uh, great overall. It has a low latency mode for gaming, and it's adequate. It's not going to be for those of you who are hardcore shooters or gamers like my kids, they're going to say, oh, dad, you can still look at the tree. Blah, blah, blah. And I actually during dinner, my son was like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, because you guys were playing with this. Huh? Yeah, we were playing with it yesterday. But it, it is, again, if you're doing, you know, some of the other games that, it, that you're not that, uh, you're not focused on that real time or, or not that, I would say, aggressive as my kids are, then uh, it's going to be fine. eARC is great for audio. Dolby Atomos as well. And then, uh, and then ultra short throw means that it could be no more than 9 to 13 inches from the wall. And one of the things that really sets this thing apart is the fact that it also supports Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision. Now, da -dum. it's the that's Dolby Audio. It's for the Dudum. <laughs> Dolby Vision. Now, here's what I have to say, and you and we'll, we'll have some sample shots uh, when you guys watch the video. You have when we watch something via on on something like you know that is. That is Dolby Vision. If you have a favorite movie, you'll want to watch it again. Oh my God. We watched that movie so many times. And it was like watching it for the very first time again. For the 50,000th time. Yes. And which one is it that I watched? John over? Carter. I like, I like, so I love John Carter. Um, they the, gave it bad reviews. And they gave it horrible Why? reviews. But Why? you know what? And it wasn't even close to the book, but it, the, if you, it's a great series. There are lots of books in, in the Mars series. Mm -hmm. And I had read the books and I just love the the relationship that he had in the story to, you know, to the to Princess of Mars and everything that was yeah. going on. So, but anyways, it's it's aww. it's, it's aww, such a right? softy. So the so this, you know, Avatar, you oh. you want to watch it over again. You wanna watch if if you like, you know, John Carter or not, well, I watch it again. <laughs> if you so if you think about anything that's on Disney and on Amazon Prime is going to be is going to fall in a category of, of probably being Dolby Vision and the detail and the quality. It's like it, it's just incredible. It's absolutely amazing. So this is a Dolby Vision projector. We have other Dolby Vision projectors that we're that we're reviewing now. I can't say what they are, but but they're they are also spectacular. Uh, this one is going to be incredibly well priced. And if you're looking to upscale your home theater, then this is the one of the projectors that I would highlight. I have two more. Football that I season's have. coming, so Fo hello. Oh, gaming, you know, 
HD gaming, watching the stream in the HD game, it would it's like it's better than being there because I guarantee you, if you're sitting all the way up in the cheap seats like most of us do, you're not the gonna see it. you're not gonna see it as clear as this thing. No, is. this thing this thing is is just amazing, amazing quality. So just wanted to highlight, uh, just wanted to highlight that that yeah that there is we have those that projector that that's came out. Now another product that came out this week that we looked at was and I don't have one here but it's on our channel is the HyperX Cloud Three gaming headphones and those did really really well. Those are basically there. The HyperX has a series of headphones. Uh, this is there's a three wired and this is the three wireless. And the cool thing about this is that this is going to be a low latency gaming headset. It's, um, I think it's a closed back, if I remember correctly, which is going to give you more isolation, has a great boom mic for chatting, and also has a great 360 spatial solution that's going to give you that's an cool. advantage when you're gaming. Because when you're gaming, especially if you're doing any kind of modern combat or any kind of first person shooter and you're wanting mm -hmm. to hear if someone's creeping behind you, it is creepy how much detail this stuff picks up, where you can hear a twig snap and you know directionally where that twig was. So yeah, exactly. And <laughs> and they're very affordable. They just came out. We've had them for a couple of weeks now, testing them out. And and I also like that they're lightweight. They don't make your ears sweat. And they work on anything that can support a USB-A or USB-C connection, which is I think pretty cool. So I've connected it to my iPad. I've connected it to my Samsung phones. I've connected it to my Samsung S9 Ultra tablet, laptop, you name it. It's going to work. So pretty powerful. I haven't tried those out, so. They're, they're my office. So you can grab them whenever you want. So they're, they're just there. They're, they're good. They're <laughs> very, very, very good, for, and especially for the price point. So anyways, that, 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 I just wanted to mention that. Now, the, last, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, we're going to switch to the phones really Is that quick. Yeah. No, we're talking about something else. So what we have here is the couple phones that, that we're going to be talking about. My experience so far with the Fold and then my experience also with, Google. with the Google Pixel Fold. I am split. Now, I'm going to tell you which one. I, which, yes, I am. I'm going to tell you that <gasps> I find myself grabbing them for different, for different reasons. Well, this morning I caught you using, was it this one? No, it was this one. This one I was reading. I use them both for reading, but the the one thing I, I I like so much about Samsung, and it's it's no different than someone who's tied into a Google or an Apple ecosystem, is that my earbuds. I have oh. them paired with my S twenty three Ultra, and then when I pick this up, they automatically pass by. But Google, you know, Android is doing that too, so they're they're, they're getting closer here. There's some refinement that needs to be done here. If you've never used the Fold before, never used the Fold before. And you get this phone, you're going to be absolutely thrilled and happy with it. I recommend it 100%. Google Pixel Fold, bye, bye, bye. Especially if you can get a good deal for it. You will love it. I love how thin it is, right? Because literally, if we were to grab Nola's phone, here's Nola's phone, and we were to take the Fold and put it next to it, notice, look at that. It's not that much of a difference in size. If I were to put them like this, and you look at it right there, look at that. It's not much of a difference, right? The case is adding some thickness to it, but so is the one for, for the S23 Ultra. So, but you get so much real estate and the battery life. I've been using Android 14. I get two solid days of battery. So I was about to say, I hardly see it charging up. Yeah, it just does really, really well. Now, the reason why I still go back to the Fold is just because I'm tied to the ecosystem. Uh, there's one feature here that I really like because I like switching uh, it has a secure folder that you can use here for, like, uh, we can have our business on a private protected side of the phone, and then we have our you know, personal life on the on the other side of the phone. So I like that it has that, and I do use the S Pen quite a bit. And, and you know, this I look at my Fold, it's my business phone, and, um, again, I think that this does really, really well. So split, if you don't have a Fold, uh, or, or Samsung uh, Fold before, go with the Pixel. If you are a Pixel, a Fold 3 user or a Fold 4 user, I will say that it's worth the upgrade. The refinement, the speed, in, in my case, the video editing that I do on this is accelerated because of it. And that's why I've also used this a little bit more. I do think the chipset is a little bit faster than the one that's on the, the, the Pixel Fold. But I'm unique, right? Because not everybody's going to be doing video editing. He's weird. 
All right. So a couple other things. Um, news. Apple. Apple, um, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to start seeing stuff for the new Apple iPhone 15. And we have already started getting products in for the iPhone 15. You always get those I always like get them before they even, they even come out. So those have already started coming in. A lot of exciting stuff happening there. Uh, we're still iffy if the, if, if, well, it's not exciting for the Apple users because you may have to buy new cables. Rumor is, is that they're switching everything over to USB-C. And if they do, all your adapters that you had will no longer work. You have to get new ones. Sorry. Sorry. Welcome to USB-C world. But once <laughs> you convert, you're going to love it. Once you're on USB-C, you'll, you know, everything plugs into a USB-C port. That's yeah. true. So not having we that. We had our friend uh, over and she had uh, her Apple. Yeah. She, fe she felt so lonely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a cable. So, but I had cables. So anyways, so, so that, that was, that's what uh, was going on with the phones. That's my recommendation right now. Now, we do have a couple other products that I can't talk about that come out tomorrow. Uh, we, there are actually two audio products that are going to come out. One of them is some headphones that have 50, batter, 50 hours of battery life and have, I thought I heard I had the best noise-canceling headphones, and there's always a product that comes out that one ups it. And for the price point, this is, I think, going to be sub-$100 headphones over-the-ear cans that will basically last 50 hours of battery life with active noise canceling off, 40 hours with active noise canceling on, basically has five levels of transparency mode, wow. has active noise canceling that's listening uh, to the environment and adjusting it so that you have a better you know, personal experience when it comes to your, your own time. And then... I laughed because when I was looking at the uh, reviewer's guide that they sent me, uh -huh. the mics on the headphones ha are two times more powerful and focus on voice. And check this out. I haven't told you this, so I want to get your reaction. Uh -oh. They're focused on canceling out common household noises like children crying. Dogs barking. Dogs barking. <laughs> oh, it does all that stuff? Doorbells oh. ringing. Did they watch your video? <laughs> I think they did. Because it, oh my I, God. I'm, reading the, I'm reading the details and I go like, you guys watch my videos. Oh my Because this is what we test. We believe that when you're wearing headphones or earbuds, you know, you have to, you have to look at canceling out the things that are in everyone's lives. And a lot of people are working from home and from work. So if you have headphones that only work in office environments that cancel out white noise... Guess what? No good. But these, literally, in the script, I'm looking at, because because anytime you get a product, it's not that we review from a script, but they basically highlight the, the features of the products. And in there, it says, designed to, to highlight human voice, home, human spoken voice, and cancel out the noises in your home, like the dogs. The, the baby the, crying, the, the crying. doorbell. And I was just like cracking up. I go like, yes, people are watching wow. this stuff. Wow. Um, I'm one of the first or only YouTubers that actually uh, that does that type of test. Others are, are starting to do that as well, but I thought that that was interesting. That is very interesting. So 50 hours, 40 hours, uh, and then and I'll tell you in my test, we just got to watch the video tomorrow. It'll be out tomorrow. Incredible, incredible. And then I've tested out some earbuds that are about the size, and let me show my pinky, the size of my pinky. They basically are almost earplugs. And they sound have, like hearing aids. Oh, they look like, well, they could be interpreted as hearing aids because when you wear them, so, so you see these guys, how these pop out right here, those are like almost in your ear. And, and I was amazed on how something so small had bass, had punchy bass, mids and highs were present. It had, it was, it was immersive. It was, it wasn't teeny. Mm -hmm. It was, it's a, it actually, they, they sound good. And then when I did the audio test, I was like, no way. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to have to watch the video tomorrow because tomorrow. there have two embargoed videos that are going to come out uh, for that. So they I just test those out. They did really, think, really I, well. I, I, I and and I'll tell you, the the case is about maybe about that big. Really? It's tiny. Everything is tiny. Why are you hiding right? this one from me? Everything is tiny. Because I might steal it. You may steal it. No, I don't think I don't think you will. Because you like the other ones. You like opening ear more than anything yeah, else. So very tiny. That comes out tomorrow. And then, obviously, then we have um, some more things that, that you'll see on the channel as well. Uh, we'll hopefully, we get to wrap up that uh, Montport laser. 
And we have some other cool stuff that's coming in that I just can't show with you yet because everything is uh, under embargo. But a lot of great stuff. And you know what? We just wanted to thank again everybody for sticking with us, watching the, the, the stream. There's a lot of folks that are coming and supporting us. And, it, and really, it does help us. It does support us when you guys come to our channel. And a lot of you guys have also been supporting us by supporting our Etsy store, which I thought has been really cool. It's been taking off. It's been taking off. And we and, and, like, and we just started. Like, we've been we've been talking about it's, side We're just hustles, testing it out. We've been testing out. We've been putting into practice a lot of the things that we say and that we advise. And, we, it, the whole thing of this channel is to educate and help people and get them started on their own passive income to start their own small business, mm -hmm. give them ideas. And, you know, so we're putting into practice those same ideas that we're giving out. Yeah. And to see it, you know, going in the direction that we were hoping to see it go, it's it's been crazy and it's been fun. So. It has been. And Melda's been learning how to print a lot of labels. I'm telling I you. am the queen of printing labels. She can print mailing labels. And, and this weekend, well, let's say in the last, since Friday. Was it Friday when we got the boom? Thursday. Thursday. So how many how many how many products have you sold since Friday? Individual products, don't not orders, but the individuals. Individuals? Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be way over fifty items or more. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, you know, some people order ten items, five, six, but yeah, we got a huge boom on Thursday. We're just orders coming in and we're like oh how do we keep up with all this so our 3d printers our bamboos um have been nonstop. yeah so we're gonna have our keys you're gonna see a review of the key max coming out we're, we're getting some, that one ready for we're it doing some fine tuning uh -huh. because we just don't have we were we had so many orders that we, we couldn't keep up no i went through it was so bad that we ran out of filament i was like what am i gonna do next <laughs> and fortunately i i've you know Someone yells at me, she says, do you need more? Do you need more? Do you need yeah. more? And I was very fortunate that I kind of didn't listen and I had a stash. You did? <laughs> I did have a stash. And we basically pulled out the stash and and we were we were fine. So I had all of my printers at least had, because the bamboos, you can actually have four rolls of filament in there. All of them were stashed because we like making all our parts the same color. And we had enough to, to keep us going. And I was waiting for an order to come in. And Amazon delivered yes uh, this morning this or morning. actually late late this afternoon and i got some more foam so we're, we're good to make for any additional rush but basically it's been it's been great and again uh 3d printing definitely a good side hustle and laser engraving and i mean for those who think both. that you they can't do it you know that oh you can't make you know start a business like that i say rethink that try it try it doesn't hurt to try try that's all it takes it's yeah. just it's, it's just a try and again, fit over 50 something items. And we were kind of doing the math. Uh, it is, if, if things continue to go as well as, as this stuff is going, it is a significant income stream, guys. Significant income stream. So everything, you know, and we and we didn't even talk about this stuff that we made. So this is something that we made. With the X2 F1. With the X2 F1, right? So sorry. That's, Go ahead. That's him. <laughs> this is me. That's him. It says sorry for. For what? For the mean, hurtful, accurate things I said. Yep. So we engraved this on there, and then this is her coming up. Huh. It's Brittany. Yeah. Oops. Or Barbie. <laughs> yeah. Sit me, baby, one more time. That's yeah. Brittany. Oh, that's okay. yeah. That's I love the Barbie pink. Yeah. But that's true. And it's my pink. Well, yeah, Barbie pink color. Yes. Yeah. So these were done, and uh, we we did all on the with the X tool F one laser engraver using some of the jigs that we designed. Yes, and we have the uses. Jugs. So again, I'm the designer, and I'm the engraver, she, and she is the creative, the creative mind. I and come I just, up with all this. I stuff. just did the creative stuff on the design for, for the mechanical stuff. Yeah. So, uh, want to thank everybody for joining us today. Hey, we have, Mavic. We have more. Uh, oh, hey, Mavic Air. Thanks for joining. And thanks everyone for, for sticking around. And also we just noticed that there's some, some good comments out there. Uh, we have more great stuff coming. We're going to be going to some interesting trade shows around the corner. We and, do have some coming up soon, don't we? Yeah, we do. And, and I know we, next month is we start getting ready to prepare for CES 2024. And yes, so Mavic has a question and we're going to go ahead and put that up. So the question is okay. how... Oh. Is a Swagtron electric bike. I'm planning to buy 
when God willing. So I was looking for some videos and came across yours. Uh, this it's funny. The Swagtron bike, that small one that we did, is, is that the one with the chair? That's the no, same. no, that is the one that your brother has. No way. Yeah, that's the one. So I passed that on to my brother-in-law. It's a small bike, and I'd say it takes it to work. Yeah, we. <laughs> it doesn't work too far away from his home. It's a tiny little bike, but it worked. So he uh, he actually uses it. It's been working fine. I'd say that since since we reviewed the Swagtron. There have been more mature bikes that have come out. That was since. one of the first ones. This is one of the first. Um, yeah. I, would, I would put it in the mini bike category. Now we've gone to the larger bike categories. So the there's a lot of other options. So I would say, Mavic, I would look at what we have on our channel because we have a lot of e-bikes. Now the price point is going to be really different, right? Because I think the the Swagtron was you know sub 500. Yeah. But you know what I'll say is the the bikes like from. Um, Enway or the bikes from Hay Bike, or we just have an, NIU. NIU. There's so many bikes that we review, so many great brands that we review. Those bikes are all going to have long distance, fast speeds. And and since we reviewed the Swagtron, the bikes now have puncture resistant tires. The the Swagtron, you know, I've had a flat, my brother in law had a flat. He had to get it fixed. He yeah. Had to get, he had to get it fixed. So I like the puncture resistant tires that you get with some of the other with some of the other units. So uh, check out our check out our videos because we have it, and I do have a new scooter from Navi uh, that we're reviewing, and I also have a scooter that should be here next week. That is, I can't mention the brand, but there is right now a conference in Germany where it's going to be launched, and Ooh. we're going to have a video of it search. during that launch. Uh, so you, you're going to see it here on the channel too. So that's some cool stuff. That's gonna be fun. We just—it's—it's it's been there's been a lot of embargo videos, so I've been slow on the videos because a lot of the stuff that I have I can't release. Right. It's tied to a date that yeah. has come up. So, everybody have a great night. Uh, hopefully, you have a great Sunday. Um, hug that loved one, um, not by the neck, but. <laughs> yeah. so, so, oh, he, he yeah. has another question. Oh, what was uh, that? Mavic, because I saw one at Best Buy and I did some research on it. I saw your video. Yeah. Yeah, so they're they're still selling. That that would be the only the only negative, the only negative is 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 the tires. And the tire, you know, when you get a flat, because they're not standard tires or those mini tires, they're a pain in the butt. That's the only thing. It's I. I you have to walk away from it once because it's it so was, frustrating. It was frustrating. I'm the kind of person that when I start something and if it's if it's frustrating me, I'd rather walk away and come back. And I had to walk away from my tire experience. And because the tires themselves, the rims aren't standard bike rims. They're, they're, you know, they're more like scooter tires, right? Than they are bikes. So I like the fact that like the tires that I wear, that I use on my bikes now, you either have a 20 inch, 26 inch, you know, and tw I think with 24 is another, and they're standard bike tires. And they're more like motorcycle tires. And the tires are Kevlar or they have uh, self-healing puncture resistant tires. And I'll tell you, it's when you get a flat, you'll know how much you appreciate a puncture resistant tire. Because if you go out three miles, you've got to walk three miles back. That's all I'll say. Or you call your wife and say, hey, <laughs> yeah, pretty much that's what happened. Yeah. So I, you don't, you don't want a flat. So I, that's all I'll just say is that it, but if you, if it comes down to the electronics, if you look at the age of that video and the fact that that bike is still running, that should tell you something about the quality. So it still runs and it runs well. We saw, we saw someone went to go take our photo shoot. We saw one, uh, someone writing. Downtown. Spectrum. Yeah. Downtown, we saw we saw Spiketron downtown. So they were, but the tires, oh, the tires. That's all I'll say is the tires, right? So <laughs> I suffer from, from. I think you got PTSD. Post-traumatic tire syndrome. <laughs> yeah, because I've also had a flat with scooters. It jumps every time. I, I've had flats with scooters, and a scooter is even worse than a bike because you can't, the, the bike at least, even if it's a flat, you can push it. But when a scooter gets a flat, it's like clunk, clunk, clunk. It just, huh. it just, it just doesn't roll. It just doesn't. So, anyways, I'm, I'm. That's Do you just think um, you've got one more question? You think there's some, like some sort of liquid to put inside a tire? Yeah. So the, there's the green goo that you can put in the tires. Um, I haven't had a lot of success. Now I would check and see. Maybe Swagtron has come out with puncture resistant self-healing tires. Maybe they have. 
there's actually what they do is what I do would recommend is not the goo in the tires because what happens with that goo is that goo will fuse your tire to your rim. And what ends up happening is you'll have to get rid of the entire thing. And if it happens to be your back tire where the motor is, then you're really in trouble, right? Because now it's even more expensive. So a lot of people don't know that the green goo will sometimes serve as a fusing agent and then you cannot take it apart, right? How do I know that? I'm not going to say. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> because I don't make mistakes. So <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not going uh -huh. to mention it. So that's what I'll mention back about the green goo. Now, there is there's green goo liner, and but I just don't know if they make the green goo liner for that tire. And so basically, it's almost like a tape, or it's a liner that goes on the actual tire itself, inside of the tire. Think about, think about that this is the tire wall, right? And then the liner basically is, is sitting right underneath it, and then the tube pushes up, right? That liner, if it's a liner and it's not the goo, when it gets punctured, the liner then basically would seal the air inside of the tube entire uh, component. And then that's the way to go. But I don't know if they make the liners. Google um, that puncture resistant uh, self healing liner and you'll see what I'm talking about. Cool. I am amazed how much I know about tires. I'm amazed. So, that's the reason why I've been married to for 31 years. Yes, I'm telling you. All right, guys, we're going to call it. Have a great night. See you guys next week. See you guys.